This video is going to talk about uh, the web platform overview. So back to your main funding dashboard, you'll find the tab for web platform. Um, after clicking that, this will be the chart that brings you in uh, to your web-based trading platform. Now, based on based on how you like to view things, um, you can change the theme up here. So dark theme, blue theme, purple theme, light theme, people that like the light theme can switch. Um, so that might be something you want to go to right away after um, first logging in. Um, also, in terms of like the layout, um, you can change to go from one frame. So this would just be one, one full screen chart, um, or you could have two, three, four, multiple screens after that. Uh, Depends on how you like to view the different setups. Uh, there are the options, which we'll get to in a second, of adding additional charts um, within these charts. So um, if you're wondering why there's only up to six frames, um, don't worry, you can add additional charts to your current layout. Now, as far as, as, far as finding a symbol, so um, the main the main toolbar is where you're going to adjust the symbol on the chart. So there's a Tesla is shown in two places here. So you'll see Tesla 1M, which is one minute, um, but this is actually where you're going to change. So if you wanted to do Apple, for instance, you type Apple in and you pull it up and then that's how you're gonna change because you won't be able to type the symbol on the chart to, to change the chart. Uh, if you want to change the time frame of the chart, it's going to be in the same area. Um, so the, again, this is kind of like the, the the toolbar where you're going to do all of like your chart uh, changing. Um, so these are the the different time frames. So one minute, five minute, ten minute. And we can go with five minute. Um, you could go with daily. So if you're looking to change, uh, this is going to be where you will do that. Uh, if you wanted to add an additional chart. So for instance, say you have Apple here and you wanted to do an Apple daily or an Apple one minute, an Apple five minute, uh, you can add a new symbol. Even though Apple's already there, you can add Apple again. Um, and then you'll see that the Apple chart is pulled up uh, a second time. And then you can go and you can change that to say the five minute. And now you can pretty quickly toggle back between. So this will be the Apple daily and then this will be the Apple five minutes. So um, it's a quick way to have multiple charts, multiple time frames for the, the same symbol. As far as um, price settings, um, so uh, default when you first log in, it's going to be uh, RTH, meaning RTH is regular trading hours. Um, so if you are interested in the extended session, uh, make sure you trick, click the drop down arrow and select ETH and hit apply. Um, so this will show you pre-market and post-market. Um, also, if you want to change just like some of the other parameters, um, this will be where you do it. Um, if you want to, the default will be candlestick, but if you want to change something to something different, this is also be where you do that. Um, you can change the color and whatnot. Um, just please remember that you need to click apply for your changes to um, stick to the chart. Going over to um, the uh, properties. So if you wanted to look at changing the, the background color, the text color, um, you know, different different elements of the chart, this is where you're going to do that. Um, this is more for, for design. Um, you can, as, as shown earlier, you can just change the entire theme. If you wanted everything to be white, you could just change it to the, the light theme. Um, and it's kind of like a quick workaround instead of having to deal with everything um, separately. Um, one thing to remember, when you are finished um, setting up your layout, um, when you have like your, you know, the, the chart style you want, and um, we'll talk about indicators in a separate video, um, but once everything is in place, um, if it hasn't been saved, make sure you click save. Um, also, you can rename your workspace. So if you wanted to have multiple workspaces uh, where you can come in and you could like like 
toggle between different um, different layout setups. Um, you could save this and then you could create a new one and save that and you can have multiple workspaces. Um, so that's going to be something you do after you're all set up. Uh, make sure it's saved. You can name it and then create a new one if you'd like.